No, go away. Go away. Go away. I can hear you. Okay, hang on, hang on. Hang on, what? What? Come in. What do you want? Oh, hey. I'm so sorry, I, I thought you were my sister. What? Uh, sorry, what are you What are you doing here? You're looking... Oh, no, I don't know where she is. Sorry, I haven't seen her for a while. I don't I don't know where she is. Um, did you... You just stop by? You didn't, like... You didn't text? Okay. No, I mean, it's just a very, uh old-fashioned way to connect with someone. I've got a trough out back if you want to water your horses or whatever, but don't don't worry about it. Uh, wh here, come on in. Here, it's fine. Come here. Have a seat. It's okay. Um, just let me just take off this guitar. Sorry, I know it's hot as hell in here. That's why I take off my shirt while I play. I'm soaked in sweat, and I didn't expect visitors. <laughs> it's fine. Listen, I'm happy you're here actually i need your help with something um let me just get this get this stuff over here okay i want you i'm going to show you two different images i want you to tell me the feelings that come up as you look at them okay all right image one yeah yeah it's an eyeball i mean it's sort of like like this melting effect is kind of sort of fractal, you see? Because, well, I don't know. I don't want to give it away. But yeah, call it the melting fractal eyeball, okay? Before you tell me how you feel about that, I want you to look at this other one. Okay, what do you see? Yeah, it's an, another eyeball. But like, what's it doing? Yeah, it's kind of like hanging in the sky like the sun, shining all these sort of, well, yeah, I mean, you could look at them as like sunbeams. I was thinking of them more as like death rays, but sure, yeah, yeah. Okay, feelings, thoughts. You don't know, like, no, like nothing? Kind of weird, kind of unsettling, you mean? Like, like you don't really like looking at it? Wait, wait, which one do you dislike more? Which one makes you more uncomfortable? The fractal, the first one, fractal melting eyeball. Okay, great. I guess I'm going to go with that one. Oh, sorry. This is for my Bandcamp page, but it's like the, you know, the kind of music I play. It's like, that's what you're going for, right? That's the effect. It's about making people uncomfortable. So thank you for your candor. I appreciate it. So tell me about you. What's your sign? Triple Scorpio? Hell yeah. What does that mean? No, I don't... I don't know sh about astrology. I just... I figured you would, so... You want to tell me what it means? Oh, you don't believe in that stuff either. That's cool. I guess we got something in common. What are you doing with your summer? Oh, you're moving. Like, are you... Are you transferring to a different college, or what? Oh, okay. All right, you're just moving on to campus from your mom's place. Okay. thought you were saying I wasn't going to see you again. You had me worried for a second. So, uh, can I ask you a question? Am I making you uncomfortable? No, you just look, uh, nervous. Like, do you want me to put my shirt on? You, you keep looking at my chest. Oh, you were just looking at my tattoo. Oh, well, that's funny. I I guess I misunderstood. <laughs> uh, you like tattoos? Well, I can give you one right now if you want. I got my little stick and poke set up. No? Okay. I bet you say you like spontaneity on your dating profiles too, don't you? Not that kind. Yeah, all right, whatever. Um, so, uh, if you were going to get a tattoo... What would you get? You get today's date. Okay. Why? Is it a special day? It's special because it's the day you got the tattoo. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's cute. 
I guess you'd have a good story, too, when people asked what it was. <laughs> um, this one in my chest is only well, like six weeks old, so it's still in the healing phase a little bit. You can see the skin is kind of raised a little bit still. It'll probably go down over the next few weeks, but here, Phil. Come on, give me your hand. Don't be silly. Phil, right here. See that? It's a very different texture, right? And if you see this, if you pinch the skin on my chest, it like, um, yeah, it just doesn't wrinkle the same. And it's kind of shiny. I mean, it makes sense. You stabbed it with a needle a bunch of times, right? So it takes a while to heal. You can take your hand back. <laughs> Are you sure you're not nervous right now? Because your hand was like trembling when I was holding it. And why do you have the jitters? Oh, too much caffeine. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, if it's not going to bother you here, why don't, why don't you feel this other tattoo on my shoulder? Feel this. See this one? Come on. This one? Uh, that is what a tattoo feels like when it's a few years old. What do you feel? Yeah, nothing. It's completely completely indistinguishable from normal skin. You know, I've heard that... Wait, wait, keep your hand here. I've heard that tattoos actually stimulate the immune system because your body thinks it's like an invasive presence and so it gets all it gets all active and that can actually be good for you. I don't know if it's true. This is what I heard. Okay, now try this. Keep your hand here on this one on my shoulder. Close your eyes. Tell me which one your favorite is. Because... I know you've been paying a lot of attention to my tattoos. I've seen your eyes all over my upper body, so clearly you've been thinking about them, right? You've been looking at them. So with your eyes closed, just, yeah, tell me which one's your favorite and why. What do you mean you don't know? You've been looking at my tattoos, haven't you? That's what you said. Okay, well then tell me which, which one's your favorite. The one on the back of my neck. Okay, here, wait, wait, keep your eyes closed. I'm gonna move your hand. Your hand is now on top of it. Now open your eyes and look at me. That's your favorite? What is this tattoo? What does it look like? Ah, oh, it's an eyeball. All right, I didn't think you'd remember. You got me. <laughs> yeah, it's an eyeball. I think that one's my favorite too, actually. Because I don't have to look at it. <laughs> All right, now uh, let's try something else. I'm not going to touch you. I'm just going to put my hand over your shoulder right here. Just just right above your shoulder. I'm not going to touch you at all. Just, just almost, just right above your skin. And I'm going to slowly move it around. And you tell me where it feels, I want to I say strongest. Okay? You know what I mean by that? Whatever, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Just, just hold still. I'm just going to move my hand down your arm. Not touching you, right? Just sort of hovering, right? All the way down your arm. Over your forearm. Over your hand. Maybe down here, over your knee a little bit farther up, a little bit closer, oh, right there, like on the, almost the top part of your thigh, maybe, maybe slightly towards the inside, cool, well, you know what that means, right, it means that's where you should get your first tattoo, now, I'm going to ask you again, just think about it, are you sure you don't want one right now? We could give you today's day just like you always dreamed of. No? Okay, fine, but answer me this. You do say on your Tinder profile that you're into spontaneity, don't you? How do I know that? I'm just guessing. You don't believe me. What is that? What are you saying? What's that supposed to mean? Hang on, no, wait, 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 hang on. I'm not offended, I just want to understand. 
Tell me what that means. You don't believe me? That I'm just guessing about your Tinder profile? Why wouldn't you believe me? No, don't, hang on, wait, wait, don't blow this off. Tell me, what's going on? What, why don't you believe me? Because you think I've actually seen your Tinder profile. Is that just what your instinct tells you? Just a gut feel? Does your gut also tell you that I really like studied every detail, committed little bits of it to memory, and maybe took screenshots of all the pictures so I could look at them later after I swiped left to try to be polite because you're my sister's friend. Do you got to tell you any of that? All right, yeah, I lied. I have seen it, and I did look at it. Yes, I took screenshots, naturally. You think I want to see a picture of you just once? Have you ever seen a picture of you? Well, assuming that the thing on your profile, which I did read, was not just complete bullshit. Assuming that you do, on some level, enjoy surprising little things that are completely unplanned and maybe a little exciting, maybe a little intense. Assuming that you're into that, how about if instead of a stick and poke, instead of a tattoo, how about you let me give you a different kind of mark on that same spot? Nothing permanent, nothing crazy, nothing that will scar. Just something that'll be there for a few days. That you can look at and remember the fun, harmless little time we spent together in my garage. When you knew some things about me, like where you could find me when my sister wasn't around. And I knew some things about you. Like, like everything. <laughs> we can just remember that fun, cute, insignificant little hang. Just a little mark, about this big, in a perfect little ring shape. What do you say? Yes. Oh, good. That's great. <laughs> That's, um, who am I kidding? That's fantastic. Take those off. <laughs> <laughs>